Okay then gang, so there's one more component I want to add to our web page and that is the drop down component. Now a drop down is basically just a button which when we press shows a drop down list of other options or links and it looks something like this. So we're going to try placing this drop down component in our sidebar. Okay, so we're placing our drop down button right here in the off canvas. So underneath the paragraph tag, inside the off canvas, I've got this little comment for the drop down. All right then, so right here, we need a class first of all on a div for the drop down. Okay, and also we're gonna give this some margin at the top, so empty hyphen three. And inside this, we need first of all, the button that we're gonna click on to show the drop down options. Now, I'm just gonna paste this in and walk you through the different attributes. So we have a button with a class or BTN, BTN secondary, we know all this. And then we have drop down toggle. So it styles it as a drop down button. The type is button, the ID is book drop down, and the data bootstrap toggle is saying, look, this is a drop down. So it knows to toggle the drop down options. And it just says, choose a book title. Now, if I save this and preview, it looks something like this with a little arrow on it. So now underneath the button, still inside the drop down div, we need the actual menu that shows when we click on the button. So to do that, we do a div with a class of drop down hyphen menu like so. And also I'm going to add another attribute, which again, I'm going to paste in. And that is aria labeled by book hyphen drop down. So this has an ID of book drop down. So we're saying this drop down menu to screen readers is labeled by this right here, just so it knows. Okay, so inside here, we're going to have a series of anchor tags, or rather we could have li tags, but in order for this to be li tags, this is going to have to be a UL. So we'll change that to be a UL and inside we'll have an li tag. Then inside that we could have some kind of a link to another page. So I'll say a href we'll just say hash for the href for now but it could go to another page the class right here is going to be equal to a drop down hyphen item and then inside here we'll do some kind of book title so become a react superhero all right then so i'm just going to paste in a couple more li tags underneath this so we've got three options in total they all have a class of drop down item and an href of just hash and then this one is conquering view js and then this one is leveling up your next js all right so we have that drop down menu now which is going to show when we click on this button so let's save that and click open the off canvas click on this and we can see all of these options right here click on this again and they close awesome so that's about it for all the components that fit on this page and everything seems to work pretty well. If we click on one of these, it scrolls down to that section and they all work. I don't think the reviews worked and that might be because we don't have an ID associated with that section. Let's scroll up and take a look. Where are the reviews? Should be right here. Okay, we spelled it wrong. So let's spell that correctly. And now if we go up to the top and click on reviews, yeah, now it works. So this all works. We've covered all the components I really want to cover for this project at least. But what I want to show you now in the next lesson is how to customize Bootstrap a little bit. So instead of using the default theme colors like this blue right here and this blue right here, instead we have our own theme colors. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how to customize Bootstrap in the next lesson.